Okay, back again, and hopefully this time, Instagram will not let us down, okay? I'm hoping the connection will be a lot better. I am Linda E. You're joining me now for this amazing interview with Mega Man. And don't forget, we are talking everything to do with the movement that's happening right now thank you for joining me thank you for staying in the conversation i know the previous one had a few tech tech issues but hopefully st restarting it has rectified that and i'm going to bring mega into the conversation in literally two seconds please let me know as per usual where you are tuning in from it's so nice to see the africa x5 family let's get mega man back on the live Give me a second. Technology is not going to let us down today. It is not going to let us down. We are having this conversation. We are having it. So hello, Africa X5 family. Mega, welcome back yes. again. This I'm going to quickly lot touch on a few things quickly yeah, that led up to that point. Hit I got me. a phone call from Vic, yeah? And um, he said he's, he's, he's not sure about what's going on. There's a lot of talk going on from these EDL guys. Or... Yep. You know the um democratic football alliance or whatever these guys are called yeah there's a lot to going on and um, but he doesn't know who to contact in blm because they're saying they're not going to protest on that day there's people saying they're going down and he's kind of concerned you get yeah. me so yeah. after a little bit of investigation you know what i mean they came across the gofundme page highlighted mm -hmm. it and just said to people on twitter look whoever's doing this whoever's got this bulk of income coming in and running this event can we secure our protest you get me yeah. I, yeah. mean, I need to know who it is, what's going on with this fund, because there's a protest that we're that I'm hearing being cancelled, yeah. and some of this fund can be used to secure that protest. You yeah, know what I mean, as well as negotiate with police officers. Remember, we've got the Black Police Association over here, Leroy Logan. You know what I mean? We've got a lot of head security people, a lot of people that are that specialise in close net security, mm -hmm. as well as a lot of career people that are good at what they do. Yeah. Good at defence and good at battling. And this is our people I'm speaking about. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, digging deep, digging deep, I got a DM by a representative. He said, look, we understand the agenda. We're early. This is new to us. So forth, so forth. And um, don't worry. We're just finding a way how to connect. You know what okay. I mean? So I said, I left my DLs and I kept it as... Yeah. ...is here. Yeah. compared to what the organization is here so basically anyway so to cut a long story short my main aim was when i saw what was going on on the internet between people from the streets artists mm -hmm. that i felt this is undeniable like, like how can we not be there how can we yeah. not really step out and be there this is this is like the first time in our in in, our, in uk history that in our generation, that something like this has happened. Yeah. We're actually going to choose to stay at home. Yeah. So before I get to that point, I'm going to say everybody who stayed at home because they thought they might get arrested, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about the ones that are on license already in cases and yeah. like that. I'm talking about the kind of free ones, the ones that didn't leave their house and because they thought they might get arrested and there's going to be madness and I understand. The ones who mm -hmm. thought, boy, don't go down there because our youth's going to get slated in the media. You know, you know how they're going to treat us and all yeah. that stuff. I understand. The ones that looked at their environment know what deals they're in. You know what I mean? Professional deals, what companies they work for. You know what I mean? Just, just a whole cross board as well as like looking at their kids and their wives and partners and said, you know what? I'm not going to risk myself. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that for this. I understand. You know what I mean? Those who might be ill, you know, those who felt they might, you know, get caught up in the corona mm -hmm. <laughs> sort of situation. Corona. <laughs> yeah, those those sort of people who, you know what I mean? And I understand. I understand. There's a lot of us that um just said, you know what, this is this is something that we need to stand up for. My whole vibe around um our people i don't wear it on my sleeve daily yeah you know but the type of moves that i make i'm sure it's clear that i'm about pe my peoples more than self you know and um i'm not gonna i'm not the one when i when i look up when i came into the business there wasn't tons of us out here yeah now there's tons of us out here lovely characters know how to stand up and speak for our people 
So I don't need to step into that position anymore or on a daily basis, regardless yeah. of whether I'm cool or not, because there's tons of voices of value. So when it comes to people protesting, people step out, you know, people step out. This is when I can say, right, out of convenience, I might be able to, I might not, you know? Yeah. But, um, when yeah. it comes to a situation like this, I, I had to, I had to act. So RIP the Fox, if not, if a lot. Yeah. Ah, no, we're going to keep going. We are, this conversation isn't ending. We're going to continue. We're going to continue. Yeah. As long as you can hear me right, Mega. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. As long as you can hear me, we're going to keep moving through. They ain't going to stop us. See, I want to know, what were your feelings on, you know, the turnout on the day? How do you think it went? Do you think it was successful? What Were the outcomes the kind of outcomes that you set out for? The turnout on the day, um, for me, um, I was disheartened. Really? Yeah, I was really, 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 really disheartened, you know? Like, I know tons of people that are bad for each other, you know? Mm. And there's so many times where I know I can call people for assistance, you know? And this time I just felt everybody knows about it. Oh. Mega, I can't hear you anymore. Ah, uh, no. Whose connection is doing this? Oh, my days. Instagram, what is happening right now? Mega yeah, man, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Sorry. So as you were saying, you know a lot of people that you can call on for assistance. Yeah, I know there's enough people that I can call on for assistance when it comes to stepping out and handling certain business, you know. And for this occasion, I just thought because of what we all saw on the internet, I didn't mm. need to call. I didn't need to call a soul, you know what I mean? Because I saw what was happening on the internet. Everybody knows. So if if we can fight each other, we can fight for our, you know what I mean? We can band together. So R.I.P. to yeah. Fox, you know, because he was saying certain things like, "What the streets put down your things for that day," and so forth. Yeah. And so forth you know what I mean? And um, he didn't get to attend. So R.I.P. Peter Fox and whoever got caught up in that unfortunate situation. But so Absolutely. much people I expected there. So when I got there, yeah, well, the way how I got there, I ain't even going to explain that again. Because <laughs> the journey was long, you know. Yeah. Like I woke up, at, I got three hours sleep, woke up six oh, o'clock wow. in the morning, you know, London, nine o'clock. And I hit Vauxhall around 10.30. As okay. I was driving through Vauxhall, going, cutting through Vauxhall, me and my boy, Gianni, yeah, cutting through Vauxhall, we didn't see anybody. And I'm like, oh, what the blows me? <laughs> you know what I mean? So we didn't see anybody. And um, I said, all right, cool, continue to Trafalgar. Okay. So that's what I was saying, continue to Trafalgar. So we got off kind of like, we came over, what bridge was it? I think it might have been Waterloo Bridge or one of those bridges. Mm -hmm. And we saw the whole sea of them. Really? Yeah, but it was blocked off in it, so you can only go across the embankment. So as we're driving down the embankment, just pulled up and got out and just walked towards Trafalgar. Calm, you know, not like a gang of man running down mm. the road, masked up. And you understand what I'm saying? And some people might, some people, they, they have a vision of, what I can be about or what I'm about. Yeah. And they just think mega set a certain way. You know what I mean? So, and I feel majority of the people didn't turn up because they just feel they, they're, they're not a mouthpiece for the kids, for the youth. Mm. They're not, they're not somebody that the youth would listen to. So maybe yeah. if they was there and couldn't control what the youth were up to, they could be drawn out. You know what yeah. I mean? So there was a lot of second guessing in people's minds, which fine, man, if you, if you want to second guess, fine, man. You know what I mean? That's cool, but it wasn't something that me and my boy Gianni and whoever turned up early in Trafalgar Square had that in mind. We didn't have that in mind at all. You know, we didn't have the mind of um, fighting. We didn't yeah. even have the mind like just going up to people and just beating them up. We didn't yeah, have that. Yeah. All of that stuff happened after Trafalgar. So, so now you're going to understand why Trafalgar Square didn't get the media attention because mm. it was 
it was managed a lot better than other environments, you know, that happened after. So while we're there, I've rolled up and I've seen, oh yeah, by the way, I got a phone call also from Raspek. Yeah. Okay. In the night, yeah. Guiding a new generation, Raspek, man. He's been an activist for years, you know, okay. and he's been trying to unite the youth them in different areas for years. Yeah, so Ras Raspek Rebellion, that's his Instagram page. Okay. Gang Unite is his movement. There's another movement being set up by the people as well, <clears throat> which he's going to be spearheading. Okay. But, um, yeah, he called me the night before. I said, yo, you coming? I said, blood, I'm there, man. You ain't even got to say. You know what I mean? And because my boy Gianni called me, that's the only reason why he knew I was going. Yeah. Because when I just said to him, yeah, I'm got course, I'm going out on it. So he said, blood, I'm coming. You know, I called other people, you know what I mean, in between that to get assistance to go down there. But, you know, they were slacking that day, man. But anyway, so going down there, I bucked up Raspect. And Raspect was there with a few people. But I could see, like, their banners out, Black Lives mm -hmm. Matter banners and just, well, cardboard made up ones and stuff like that. So we kind of knew that whoever was coming out there wasn't a part of that organization. Okay, yeah. Whoever was coming out there was just there to protest against racism yeah, and stand up to any bullies or any intimidation of racism. So that was the peaceful protest there. So people who came down there, some of them might have been um, one or two pull aways from the movement. Okay. You know? but, but that was the spot. That was the spot to stand up against racism in the UK yeah. that day because it's literally minutes down the road from Parliament Square. Yeah. You know? And obviously certain things have happened previously in the square, you know what I mean, uh, alluding to Black Lives Matter and stuff. So that was the point. That was where everyone needed to be. What happened, a lot of people came out and they ended up in different parts of the of, of London. Yeah. Which I felt was like, what's, what's going on, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if this is the part where everybody needed to be, why is everybody now, why is the organisation force people to scatter in different parts and have smaller, smaller branches? When we need to stand divide up, divide and conquer, this, isn't it? This is the this is this is being looked on by different parts of the world, in different states and different countries. It's not that time of day right now. Yeah. So we got down there, spoke with um respect, and there were some news reporters there. We didn't really want to speak to them because the turnout we didn't feel the turnout was president. We didn't feel the turnout was right. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was like a handful of man, maybe like twenty man the most. And out of the 20 men, we knew that not all of us are going to be, you know what I mean, that aggressive or that standoffish if, if harm came to our sisters or our mothers there. So there's a few females from Manchester, different parts of London, and um, an African lady done a wicked speech, man. Good speech. We are not afraid. We are not going to be intimidated mm. anymore, you know? Mm. And I was like, this is what we're meant to be here for. Yeah. <laughs> Not just, just because someone you know ain't going doesn't mean you don't need to be there. Yeah. Just because people from your area doesn't doesn't. This is for everybody. Yeah. So, anyway, so but while we're there, um, the atmosphere is kind of tense because we kind of know that they're going to pull off because mm -hmm. around us, around us we're looking at different people that look like football hooligans or just mm -hmm. football lads and. EDL guys and they've got their cameras out too but look they're not causing any harm yeah they're not being aggressive so why not stand where you are yeah 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 a guy came over we had a conversation he said yeah yeah what what was this all about or whatever and some of the guys were just talking what the, the, the black power stuff a little bit and I was like look we're not here to cause any problems to statues mm -hmm. or anything like that we just want to defend our people and we won't make anybody trouble statues while we're standing here. Yeah. So don't worry about that. And sometimes, I think a few times there was like the cadets and army, army guys down there, you know, and standing up. But they wasn't necessarily stopping the football hooligans from being aggressive to us. Really? You know? They were protecting I want to say I'm surprised, but... but... They weren't, they weren't, they weren't, I didn't see them jumping down and saying, nah, we're not, we're not, we're not about this, you know? And there was a few black people from the army that was with them as well and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, Mega? Phone call, man, no worry about that. 
Yeah, that, that was a phone call, man. So people are trying to get through to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, bro, I mean, why am I saying, bro? Because something's <laughs> over. <laughs> Isn't it so hard? Yeah, so, sis, look, um, we're there now, yeah? Yeah. There's a few of us there. A couple of us are building, and we know that people are around us taking cameras, different guys taking pictures, mostly passing it over to different parts of their people. Mm -hmm. So there's different times where people are coming from different angles and actually like trying to intimidate us. So it came from the bottom part of the square. If you're facing out towards, if the stairs are behind you and you're facing out towards Nelson's column down, mm -hmm. they're coming from the bottom corner right. Yeah, so there's like 10 of them coming up, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? Police are pushing yeah. them off, pushing them off. The young ones are running forward. We're kind of like, nah, if the police are handling it, yeah. leave it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let the police do their thing. Cool. If they get any too close, then, you know, they're going to have to hold a box and a kick bar. We basically just, <laughs> yeah, we basically didn't want anybody to, you know what I mean, go too mad because... If Oh, Mega? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm just getting. You know, this whole time, getting on my calls. side, you've been, you've been frozen, but still speaking. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm just getting loads of calls. But yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're coming from all different angles, and we're just. Mm -hmm. Rathbeck was at the front majority of the time. You know what I mean? Certain times I'm looking in different parts, and I'm not getting to a certain part on time because. I'm not sure what's going on in the next part. You know what I mean? But yeah. Rasper was at the front all the time because he was kind of like staying with the group. And I'm and me and my boys are just surveilling the whole place because we're seeing different people walk around. So I'm like, I didn't want anyone to do something cheeky and just run up yeah. to a lady or a girl and do anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? So while the man them are rushing in one area, sometimes the main ones ain't even getting there. So it's coming from all ends. And me just feeling we felt vulnerable we felt vulnerable to agree it wasn't fair it was fair for the people then. yeah we felt vulnerable to agree because we know at some point the police might not be able to hold back these guys but, yeah you know? yeah down there they might not be able to hold them back and we're just waiting for the full-on load of them to come you know so at certain times we just it was it was real hectic and i didn't see any like key figures key people mm -hmm. out there that can say yes my bro my bro you know, a lot of young people, it kind of got to like maybe like a hundred of us out there, elders, women, you know what I mean, kids and that. And we're still outnumbered, you know. So at certain times when they're when they're circling the square, you see some of them getting attacked because they're those are the brave ones coming the same, doing whatever, dashing bottles and stuff. So you see mm. a couple of them get attacked once or twice. Yeah. Come in, step out, the young ones step back. Again in another Oh, Mega. Oh, Mega. Should I jump? No, let, let me let me restart this for the final time. I'm gonna restart this call with you for the final time so that we can have your face actually come off frozen. For some reason, Insta is still thinking about it. So give me one more second. We'll do this one more time. Bear with me, okay? Guys, the Insta police are not letting us have this phone call in peace, are they? Like, what is happening? I appreciate all of you guys for really bearing with us because Mega is really, is really just telling me things that I had no idea about. And it's, such, it's so refreshing to get first-hand information for someone who is standing for something. And I don't know, Insta police are not having it today, but we aren't having it either. So we're going to keep moving forward. I'm trying to reconnect. It's just saying waiting. So just, just, just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. And it was sad to hear that Mega didn't feel as though the turnout was good. That was really, really sad to hear. But you know what? We have a spirit of perseverance about us as a people, and we're going to continue moving forward. So it's just waiting for Mega now. I think it's going to work. So thank you for everyone who has stayed put. Instant police are really, they're doing too much right now. They are doing way too much. 
but it's, it's all good because we can do just as much if not more this conversation is not going to stop so bear with us it's literally saying waiting for so solid so let's just see um, and i saw some people who are based in the states in the building right now i saw someone from the uk where are you guys tuning in from please let me know oh hold on it said unable to join with mega insta police what guan like what are you doing let me keep trying i will not give up guys let's not give up on this because this conversation needs to happen ah it needs to happen there we go okay let's try this again it's waiting it's waiting oh sam's from london oh Orlando, florida Oh my day. Oh, Creative Mega has turned off his Wi Fi, so he's using um, just normal data. Oh, Chess Hunt. Okay, Hartford Show in the building. Hi. Um, no, no, no. Really, the energy didn't feel positive. It's, do you know what? It's weird because when I saw bits about it on the media, obviously, I saw a picture of a. Hello from Africa. Um, oh, Mega's back, yes. right. We was, at Mega. Where, like, we was at a point where the police are just trying to stop them from getting into the square. You know, yeah. so they've done a full circle. They've come round from the left hand bottom side. They tried to get in at the right hand bottom side twice or three times. Yeah. Then they tried to get at the left hand bottom side. This is me facing Nelson's column with a stair behind us. Left hand bottom side and tons of them just started to walk round, you know. So yeah. it was kind of, it was kind of, it was getting sticky because bottles were being thrown. We don't know what was in those bottles. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't know acid we don't know what was in those bottles because they were just being thrown from glass bottles water bottles are being thrown and i'm thinking why are you throwing water bottles why are water bottles being thrown so it's either there's something in the water bottles mm -hmm. or we don't know circling around a couple of them got caught out came around to the stairs police was kind of there as well but we jumped up and everyone was just kind of what what and they like come on in shouting all the words and all that sort of stuff anyway and then they've gone round to the other side. Now, some of them's trickled down the stairs. Mm. Now, they've trickled down the stairs. There's no police there. So at that point, there's like 10, 12, maybe 13 of them. And they could have actually Done rushed something. at that point. But the attitude of, of what they was facing, yeah, they, had, they were moving cowardly, man. Yeah. You could see it on certain um, footage where they come down the stairs into the square and some of them are giving it and they turn back and then they're walking back and they're giving it and yeah and then they turn back and i'm like i don't know what i don't know what that was man but anyway they went back up the stairs and they lined up along the wall yeah and some of us are just standing at a certain distance not to get hit with glass bottles but to be able to stand at a distance that it's not going to harm us now they started to throw fireworks and smoke bombs and at first we didn't know what it was so when they're throwing certain things and it's going off bang we don't know what it was. So after it's gone bang and people are assessing what it is, there's 50p coins in a, in a, in a banger, in like a, one of those explosion things or fireworks things. Yeah. Now, if you put, if you put uh, an exp anything that's explosive with coins, that's a bomb. That's a bomb. That and the police did nothing because I didn't see none of this in the media. So we're in the middle of all of this. We're in the middle of all of this. Fireworks are going off. Bangs are going off. We're thinking it's gunshots. You know what I mean? Because you know how these white people are with their, with their sawn offs and their long noses. Come on, this guy's shooting, mate. <laughs> I mean, like, most of their friends have got licenses for those things, man. So, But anyway, like, yeah, so that's happening. And then the last part was when they actually got into the square. So they came around, yeah, round the bottom and... They've got into the square by Nelson's column, but there's a barrier. Yeah. Yeah, in front of them and between Nelson's column. Then the police is there. Then there's another big gap, yeah? Like a, you know, 12 yard box, of, if you know football, yeah? 12 yard box, yeah? <laughs> and then there's us, yeah? So we're just like, look, if they approach us, defend yourself. Yeah. But let the police do their job, yeah? At certain times, the young youths were going off the rail, mm. you know, and we actually locked arms with the police in the... In the That's like <laughs> a powerful image. At the know? side of the square to just say, man, them, calm down, please, listen, calm down, stop being aggressive, you get me? We're outnumbered. And at that point, that's when, like, I kind of got a little bit angry. I've gone online, I've gone on live, I said, look, we're here, 
Where are you lot? The cattle is boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? We've got one over there. We've got one over there. We're trying to defend our people. And, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just in the moment. It's so dangerous. And so, like, what's next? What do we have to deal with next? You know what I mean? That at any time, it could be an onslaught. At any time, like, we're just feeling, nah, the police are going to let them slip. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. And let them actually come forward and, you know what I mean? do whatever they feel they, they're capable of doing. But the attitude of us was, was, was real, real firm. We had to, you know what I mean? We had to step up and be a certain way. And then um, the lady from Manchester went online and listen, we're outnumbered. Like she's saying that she, look, I'm scared. I've come down from Manchester because I'm expecting all of the Londoners to be out here. Where's all the yeah. London? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Where's all these rappers that, or people, or, you know, pro-black or pan-african people that that know about this side of it it's cool fighting for peace but when there's an, a little bit of you know you know there's going to be a little bit of aggression or conflict you stay at home that's 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 not that's not well, look we don't we're not here to step up and say we want to fight in the streets and cause yeah. men. but when our people are doing a peaceful protest we have enough grown men out here and even young youth to stand side by side with them and make sure they get their agenda done yeah make sure they get through the day, you know? And that's the least, and I won't second guess him. So anybody who wants to second guess or feels that we shouldn't have went down there or whatever, yeah, look at the media. Mm -hmm. The media's not slating us in Trafalgar. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Slating anybody in Trafalgar Square, you know? When we, before we left, the police were speaking to us and said like, thanks for holding it down with us. You guys done well today, you know? So um, at the last part, um, well, we kind of knew the police kind of had it. I think the intelligence knew that people saw my my um, live, people saw Raspect's live, people saw a couple of the ladies' lives and maybe a couple of other guys, yeah, saying, look, we're outnumbered. And that started to go around. So whoever was elsewhere said, Ra, we need to go down to Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Like, where, is, where we're all meant to be, our people are actually there. And... You know what I mean? So police could mo maybe see from miles, from a mile or so away that there's a problem. You know what I mean? The cavalry yeah. is coming. Yeah. They've got yeah. helicopters and cavalry coming. So, so now they've called enforcements to say, we need to move the EDL or whoever is, is against these protesters holding it down, get them along. Maybe whisper in their ear and say, listen, mate, there's tons of them coming. Guys, go. Mm. You think mm -hmm. That could have been mm -hmm. their call. You know, so as people are, I, I felt that they were stopping the people. Well, like, I kind of understand that they were stopping our people. Oh, Mecca? Prior to oh, Mecca, um, can... them coming down those stairs. Yeah. Until you, um... Oh, Mecca, it's gone a bit weird again, but like I said, we are not giving up on this conversation um no. can you still hear me yeah i can hear you someone just made a, a really good comment in the a really good comment what would you say to people like akala who actually told people to stay home and obviously the black life matters organizers saying it was cancelled what would you say to people like those oh you, man. yeah you know what i mean i was disappointed At that time, I feel you'd be a lot more intelligent to to kind of strategically guide the people in the round instead of just saying stay. Up. Yeah. yeah, while racist people are running the streets, trying to, you know, any person like, for their cause. And I don't mean just black people. I mean, Asians, Iranians, BNP or EDL will be intimidated. They even intimidate their own, you know? So just knowing that... Oh, Mega, someone know. said, can you please say that again? I think I think you cut out at one point. Just after you said that's a Carla's point of view, that's the part okay. where things went a bit crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a part of the point of view. I'm oh. most slightly disappointed when it comes to, like, um, our activities. To this and our people that speak out 
out against, you know, racism and, and you know, pan Africans and, you know, Muslim brothers, anybody that's religious that knows our level of it, really speak out against it publicly. This is the time where now is the point into defense mode. Like I say, there's people to speak peace and there's law and there's people to set up businesses and the women and there should be there for healing, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I wouldn't want to be on the front line. Sometimes I wouldn't want to be on the front line with us. Yeah. So for the women that stepped out, I salute you, man. For all the women in that square that stepped out, young and old, white, black, Asian, Iranian, whoever, like Moroccan, everybody who stepped yeah. out in that square, I salute you, man. Because, because you actually said, I'm going to throw everything away for this. Yeah, I'm going to risk gonna, it all, yeah. Risk everything for this, this moment. You know, I'm going to risk maybe not seeing my kids. I'm going to risk maybe not, not seeing my kids. I'm going to risk, risk my career. I'm going to risk my... Yeah. I'm going to risk me breathing. I'm going to risk me getting nicked. I'm going to risk going through that procedure of maybe going to jail or whatever it is. I'm going to risk that for this moment in particular and if there was ever a, a moment to risk it for it was that that moment you know not just a legal situation not because you didn't pay insurance we can be our people you know and barriers of life if you're going to risk yourself for anything that what you I definitely understand and there's there's not a lot of people that even when they're willing to play that position, you know, mm. but they can call on certain people like myself and I mean, would sensibly go down there and play a different position. I didn't necessarily go there for out for all that war. I went there in self-defense yeah. of our people. This is central London, guys. London are fully secured, you know? So if I'm going to central London, know what type of frame mind of mega is going down central London. If I'm there, know what type of frame of mind is there. You understand what I'm saying? So I will be fully within my right. Police officer arrested me on the day. So yeah. You're going to the nick. Because they would search my everything that I have and they would see no weapons, no narcotics. Yeah. I wasn't high alcohol. You know what I mean? I didn't didn't have any weed on me and any rum and Ray and nephews or mm -hmm. brandy and you know what I mean I didn't have no glass bottles it's just me full body thing on to make sure that I didn't get you know playing any vital organs and stuff but that's basically because I knew what threat we was up against yeah and I know how important I am to my people my yeah. family you know what I mean my kids and all of that so if I'm gonna go in, in war I ain't gonna go naked but I'll go yeah. naked, basically. You know what I mean? You weren't, you weren't correct. You came prepared. Just, in the it's just that, man. And I just... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just felt a little bit disheartened. So now getting to the whole picture of the story. Now, everything's a part of that story. Mm -hmm. and we all know the me was there, you know? It, the part of it was on the news and all that stuff. And then... um. As the crowd is the one, this is the time where we really have to fight, you know? So as we're running up the stairs, we're slowly recognizing who is that moment unprecedented. That joy was so unprecedented. And I'm like, everybody from every part of the UK was in that crowd. Wow. The script. After putting out that call, everybody maybe left their houses, Left where they were in London, where, left where they were protesting, and they all come um, to Trafalgar Square to rescue their people. Then, you know, numbered the joy. Like, when I mean every area, a lot of South people, a lot of um, young youth, people that were beefing with each other for years, everybody, yeah. And came down to Trafalgar Square, and that moment was one of the biggest moments of my life, where 
I just felt this, this is what I wanted to see. It was like that joy is like you finally came out. You understand what I'm saying? So seeing this now. You guys finally, you guys are finally here. It was a tearful moment hugging each other. The women that were there with us were crying, literally in tears. My eyes are kind of even watering right now. Now, just thinking about that moment because it was so special. It was so special. I saw what we were saying. They met in Trafalgar Square, the mother. and he was gonna come out and ward it oh the, when everybody when people saw oh mega it's cutting out your sound again oh the, the vibe and uh yeah a little bit of restlessness a little bit yeah. of disheartening a little, little bit of everything was in our was in our souls you know yeah. at that point i felt everyone they were just told they're leaving Trafalgar Square at 5, yeah. 5 p.m. and everyone's going to different parts. That's when you're seeing one or two a bit. All right, a couple of them are getting, okay. hurt, getting attacked. Frustration. That's the frustration that we put on people, but we don't actually yeah. step out in the first place. You know. So everybody that came out after with the entourage, they were the ones in Waterloo. No, I wish okay. they were the ones that came out earlier. And the yeah. Guy that saved the um. The guy yeah, I saw that, 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 that Hutchinson. Moment. Yeah, yeah, that he, iconic, iconic yeah. pictures. The one thing I like about that moment, yeah, the one thing I like about that moment is that if there was any disrespect going on, where they felt that they were defeated or embarrassed or anything like that, that that picture there just settled the nation. You know, you know? that picture there settled everybody's mindset to understand how we really were compared to yes. how they really were. You understand what I'm saying? And that mindset was happening Trafalgar Square right through to different, you know? Like, even to the point where if, if where a man's got a box and a kick and he's on the floor now. But, you know, when the young ones are around and, and the energy's up, couple people might do a little extra so mm, yeah the, the people that saved the brother respect to that but at the same time yeah. what my standpoint was we know you guys know what was happening in where everybody did so when you speak your story yeah if you even if even if you did your story publicly there's a lot of people that you should reach out to and say i respect you you was down there earlier i respect you man and put them say those at your father the square, the sisters, if you don't want to say mega, if you don't want to say respect, you know what I mean? Even though we're being called out the most, there's a lot of unknown people that were there that you can say, look, the majority of the people that came out that day was because of what was happening in Trafalgar Square. We weren't intending to be in that section of, of, of life. London, due to what the word that was put out by the racist people. Oh, Mega, it's done it again. Mega, can you hear me? Yeah, I see it. I see yeah. It. I don't know what yeah, is happening it. today. I've just seen something. Like mind, man, but all I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Oh. Oh, Mega, I can't hear you. I can see you moving now, but I can't hear you. Oh, Mega? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, I just can't see you though. It's just got that ring, that thinking ring again. Oh, I can see you now. Yeah, I think I can. I think, okay, it's back to normal. Mega, I wanted to say to you though. Oh, Mega, can you hear me? It's moving away, did it? Let me. Uh, oh. Where you're back, can you hear me? You tried Wi Fi and non Wi Fi. Oh, what a day! But I wanted to ask you though, what do you think is next now? Because I've seen people talking about uh, another protest on the 4th of July. There's the idea of you know, destroy and re rebuild. 
what do you think is next for us as a people? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, not everybody to come together, organisations or in the streets or in the workplace. It's got for all of that to occur. But um, we actually know on the surface of what we can do and how we feel and the impact that we have when we actually come together and stand up against anything that we haven't stood up against before. You know, that battle at Trafalgar Square was... was intense you know it wasn't it wasn't a thing where you knew exactly oh my god it's playing with us today you know what? instagram so i'm gonna dash away my against whole against phone i'm gonna have to take out instagram for this against, against them you didn't know how to pull him up with dogs and bats oh. and just go. people say there's a crazy lag um, yeah Okay, Mega, I'm going to try. And I'll, honestly, Mega, thank you for your patience so much. Oh, hold on. I think you're back to normal now. So in, the sense, in the sense of how I'm... Oh, no, you're not. Mega, me. okay. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to try the very, very first, for the last time, okay? Because I know this is Insta doing this, because some reason I don't want to have a conversation. I'm going to come out and come back again. So please, 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 Mega, bear with me. Thank you for your patience. I'm going to reload this whole thing, okay? Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to reload the whole Insta. I'm even going to end this live, put it on the page, and come straight back, okay? So don't go nowhere.